Good morning. Please excuse the state of me. I have just got up. I um, had a really good night last night watching the Strictly Final with Mum. We got a Chinese takeaway and I just wanted to share in the takeaway. We got a couple of gifts. I reckon it's because we spent so much money. But uh, yeah, so we got um, a... Wait a minute. We got a wee desk calendar which is lovely it's got lovely like little pictures on each month so that was really nice and as well as that and this is stunning hang on a minute we got an absolutely beautiful wall calendar We're imagining that this is a Year of the Dragon. That is what 2023 is. 2024, this is 2023. What 2024 is. Um, so yeah, I just think absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to see Home Alone um, today, my festive thing for the day. M might do a little bit of, I'm going to call it baking or cooking, a little bit of melting. <laughs> um, to make some sweeties. I did sweeties at work this week and I still have some ingredients left so I might um, make something with that. I am still loving my nails. Mm. They just make me so happy. But quick thing, does anybody, now this will be like really showing of age, does anybody remember cremola foam? I'd love to know if anyone else uh, was a Cremola foam fan when they were a child. I remember taking my mum packing a box, I think it came in a box, tin, box, tin. I can't remember of it um, when I went on school camp so that I could drink the water because she was like, the water won't be nice, but stick Cremola foam in it and you'll be able to drink it. And it was very popular in my uh, little dorm. But yeah, I am going to go back up to bed have my hot drink and I've got a Christmas tree crumpet. I have that for breakfast and watch something. I'm not sure what, probably a vlog, somebody's vlog. I don't know who's because I've not really kept up with people's vlogmas videos this year, apart from apart from Christopher Allen, I always watch his. Um, but yes, yeah, so I might watch that. And then get up and get off to the farm. My throat's feeling a wee bit sore this morning. I just I have not seemed to be able to shift this thing that I've had since October, I just don't seem to be able to fully shift it. So hopefully um, that'll just need some rest and I'll get them in the holidays. So anyway, I'm gonna have this. I will probably see you back up at the farm. Right, just before I put my water face on, I just want to say I am wearing the um, Equature Winter right Riding Leggings today. I've been wearing them for about a week now. You only have seen me opening them up yesterday but I have been wearing them for about a week and they are amazing. I'm keeping them clean. I'm putting my waterproofs on over the top. But the toggy ones, I got bought them last year in the January sales. But they had a bit of money off. Don't like buying things full price. Just no, don't, don't agree with it. <laughs> so yeah, the, these are help to keep these clean, but they are so super warm. Honestly, they're really comfy. I normally always wear thermals or tights under my uh, riding wear in the winter, and I'm not needing to. I mean, it's mild at the moment. I'd be keen to try them out when it gets to like minus temperatures and see how warm they feel then. But at the moment, they are feeling super duper warm. So I'm just going to pop these on. Pedro's eating his breakfast, and I'm going to turn them out. But before I do that, I need to show you the massage thing I've got to do on his shoulder. I'm hopping in here because I realise this makes no sense whatsoever. Pedro had the physio on Saturday and she found he had a knot in his muscle in his shoulder, which she thought had been a tear caused by a slip in the field. So she worked that out, got it feeling much more loose and more comfortable for him and then showed me a massage technique to use on him over the next few days to help him feel better and help the help the muscle release and the knot the knot come out so yeah that is what you are about to see 
let's pop these on get ready for the weather it is wild out there today absolutely wild but uh, yeah gonna wrap him up keep him cozy and warm and um yeah all should be glued i'm glad that it is a cinema day today he's actually scratching where the uh, torn muscle is so i'm wondering if he, that's him trying to get around to it so yeah so it's up here basically on this clip line um i can feel yeah it feels here i can feel it here it feels quite tight it feels tight as did the other day right i'm gonna let him have a scratch before i get into it because uh there's no point trying to do anything to the boy while he's itching right i have to take my hand make a fist and then hang on it no darling i need the other side of you my love i'm afraid i need this side it's like this part of your hand you keep it flat and you rub it down so no we're scratching again we go down down then across a diagonal and then across a higher one you can see his face down good boy diagonal higher diagonal We seem to have forgotten our manners a little bit. So I'm going to do a wee bit of groundwork with him before I turn him out. Just a little bit. Stop and going back and up. Because um, we were we were a little bit trying to run over the top of mum. And just ignoring mum a little bit in the stable there. So yeah, when we get like that, we need to revisit our groundwork. Don't we? Yeah, we need to revisit it. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to do it literally out the front of the barn there and yeah for a couple of minutes just before i turn him out As you can possibly tell, nice to be great. Did he care? No. 
did he make a beeline to try and get some of the hay from under it? Yes. Was the tarpaulin flapping about his head? Yes. Any other day would he have swooped at that? Hell yes. Yeah, this here. This flappy bit here. This would normally cause great fright. Making all that noise? Yeah, he just stuck his head under it. Honestly, he picks his moments. Right, running late. I've got about 10 minutes before I need to leave the house. Um, always, always running out late. I really need to trim my fringe. Yeah, definitely, definitely need to trim my fringe. But that is not happening just now. So we will curl it under. Here we go. This is a Lemieux Christmas jumper from last year. I got it in the January sale, so I've never actually worn it. Right. Shoes on and off we go. Evening stables are done. I am home. I've been to the shops. I've been to the shops. I've got some bits and bobs that I was needing for my sweetie making. I'm not going to do them today though. I think I'm going to do them another day, maybe tomorrow, and put that out as a separate thing because, yeah, I just really want to chill tonight. I just want to got the radio times, I want to go through the radio times, mark up what I want to watch and then not watch any of it because that's generally what I do. But yeah, it's like a Christmas tradition, get the Christmas radio times and mark up the different things that I'm fancying watching. So I want to do that this evening and just kind of relax, get ready for Monday for my last two and a half days at work. Come on and get through this and then into full swing into festivities so thank you so much for watching today it's been a bit of a mix and match of different things that have been going on but yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow bye